Volkswagen has officially launched the ID4 all-electric SUV, with VW describing it as an all-rounder, which isn't the greatest accolade ever, considering they make the car, but let's take a look at exactly what they mean. Before we get into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next video. The Volkswagen ID4 is a compact SUV and is the second fully electric vehicle from the German car maker to be built on its MEB platform, following the launch of the ID3. While both cars are being manufactured at the company's Zwickau plant initially, the ID4 is a global launch into the most popular car segment right now, the compact SUV. As with the ID3, the ID4 will have a limited run first edition model which will go on sale later in 2020. This first version will have a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is enough for a range of up to 323 miles, a top speed of 100 miles an hour, and a zero to 62 mile an hour time of 8.5 seconds. UK pricing has not been announced yet, but in Germany, prices for the ID4 first edition start from 49,950 euros. Charging will take about 10 hours from empty to full on a dedicated 7.4 kilowatt home charge point. And you can compare different home charge points on our website. Simply go to smarthomecharge.co.uk. Access a public rapid charger and you can expect an 80% recharge in around 30 minutes. The ID4 will be available to charge at a max rate of 125 kilowatts DC, so that means you can take advantage of the growing network of rapid chargers that are capable of 100 kilowatts and more. The ID4, unsurprisingly, shares a lot of the same design cues as the ID3. It's minimalist in appearance with very few buttons. Instead, a touchscreen interface dominates the center console, while the driver is also presented with a digital cockpit display. VW says the ID4 will have the spacious feel of a much larger SUV thanks to the long wheelbase, even though this is technically a compact SUV similar in size to the Kia e Nero. On the exterior, you can certainly see the similarities with the ID3, particularly from the front. On to practicality, VW itself describes the ID4 as an emotional all rounder, so it needs to tick quite a few boxes. The ID4 has a length of 4.58 meters, which is slightly longer than the 4.3 meters of the Kia e Nero, which the ID4 is likely to compete with in this segment. The long wheelbase helps contribute to a tight turning circle of just 10.2 meters and helps keep the interior roomy. Boot space is competitive too, with 543 liters when the rear seats are up. If you fold them down, capacity increases to 1,575 liters. This compares to 451 liters in the Kia e Nero or 1,405 liters when the seats are down. There will actually be two first edition models, the ID4 First and the ID4 First Max. The standard first edition will come with 20 inch wheels and tinted windows at the rear, while the interior includes heated front seats and steering wheel, and the background lighting can be set to 30 different colors. Drivers will be pleased to know a heat pump is also fitted as standard, which means heating and cooling of the cabin is much more efficient and should ensure the range is not affected too much if you have the aircon on full blast. There's also a heated windscreen for the cold mornings, which you can remotely start from the smartphone app, so no need to sit waiting for the screen to demist. In terms of tech, SatNav is included as standard and you'll find four USB ports for charging your phone and other gadgets. Rear cameras come as standard to assist with parking. There is a 12 inch touchscreen which houses the infotainment system and most other controls. And the driver is also presented with another digital display called the ID Cockpit. Voice control is included as standard and is activated by saying, hello ID. The first Max gets the same features as the standard first edition with a few upgrades. For example, you get slightly bigger 21 inch wheels, 3D LED tail light clusters, as well as a panoramic glass roof, electrically operated boot lid and electrically adjustable seats. 
In addition to the two screens you get in the standard first edition, drivers of the first Max will get an augmented reality head-up display. Prices for this first Max edition start at €59,950, although UK prices have yet to be confirmed. Don't fear if these prices seem a bit steep, there will be cheaper models in 2021. These cheaper models in 2021 will predictably have fewer features and a smaller battery pack to help bring the cost down. This will come in the form of a rear wheel drive option with a 52 kilowatt hour battery pack and another rear wheel drive model with the larger 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. What do you think of the ID4? Do you think it's a true competitor to the Kia e Nero, or would you still want the Kia? Let us know down in the comments below, and if you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.